and I summon Quillbolt Hedgehog in defense mode!
Hello everybody, Jacob here and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So yeah, we're playing Splites. It's a very interesting two-axis deck, if I do say so myself. All monsters have a hard ones button, a special summoning condition that you have to control a level or rank 2 monster. So, this is a very early build, because, well, the deck was just released. I did have some uh, some experience with it now, and I would do some changes, but we'll go through it as we do. Uh, we're playing Triple Pixies, Triple Jet, Triple Red, Triple Blue, and Triple Carrot. Carrot is the one that you can cut to one, uh, because, at least in my opinion, uh, since a Carrot is a spell and trap negator, while Red is a monster effect negation. A Pixie is needed if you want to go an OTK route, uh, while Blue and Jet are your searchers. A Splite Starter is a free of in the Splite deck, since it just grabs your monster directly from the deck, but it's always a good thing to have. Uh, we're playing one Gamma Burst because, well, this is an OTK machine and we have ways to OTK our opponent. Uh, and that is why we're playing one Gamma Burst, since it's searchable via jet and playing more uh, is not that good, it just bricks. As for some additional materials, we're playing Triple Red Resonator with Triple Resonator Call. Red Resonator is not only a monster that you can summon, but it's also an extender, so it special summons from the hand, bypassing the Splite's special summoning condition that you have to control a level 2 or rank 2 monster. It still is a special summon, so you get the searches, but the condition is not met so you can still summon the monster using the regular means. Uh, so for some funny interesting picks I decided to go with Cobalt Hedgehog. This is something most people don't even think of when uh, going for a rank 2 place. But Cobalt Hedgehog can be special summoned infinitely from the graveyard if you control a tuner. Uh, normally you would need something to prevent banishing since Cobalt Hedgehog banishes itself. However, due to the fact that the Xyz materials don't count as being on the field, detaching Cobalt Hedgehog or sending the Xyz monster directly to the graveyard as a material for a Link Summon or any other thing does make it so Cobalt actually lands in the grave, allowing you to recycle that little fluffy bastard, giving you infinite Xyz materials. We're playing Triple Emergency Teleport with uh, Ghost Ogre to get access to this really good hand trap, if I do say so myself, I really like it. It does provide some sort of interruption. You can, if you don't want to go with Ghost Ogre, but still want to go with the Cobalt Package, get a level 2 Psychic Tuner, like Crabons, to do it, since it's still a level 2 that you can summon and just recycle the Cobalt Hedgehogs. Uh, for our other hand traps, we're playing Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Imperm, which is basically standard at this point. For our extra deck, we're playing Onibimaru Soul Sweeper, which I found to be really interesting in some scenarios since it banishes a monster until the opponent's end phase, not standby phase like the spider does, but the end phase which is much more diminishing and I think it's a much stronger effect. Uh, Gigantic Splite is a good monster, but I do not like the fact that it locks you into Link and rank 2 monsters uh, into the 2s, but it does can, it can be big and it can special summon from the deck directly, which is very nice to fetch any Cobalt Hedgehogs or Red Resonators if we so desire. Daigusso Phoenix is an OTK machine. It doesn't look very threatening with those 1500 attack points, but paired with Cat Shark, it becomes a 3k beta, and with Gamma Burst, it's a 44 double attacker. So it is very threatening in this deck, exactly. Ghost Rick So Cutabus is not that great, but uh, I think a monster removal, spot removal, uh, and having the ability 
to prevent the opponent from using that monster zone entirely is a very good effect, mostly due to the fact that Ghost Rig's Cutibus can prevent the opponent from using the extra monster zone, which is very diminishing for most decks, and since we're not playing any upper arrows, basically locks the opponent out of Link Summoning. We are also playing Double Gachi Gachi Gentetsu, since, well, it's a, it's a booster and uh, it's a wall, so I really like it for that reason. Uh, we're playing Hulky Firebrex since we have Red Resonators, it just fetches a monster, gives us the easily uh, easy access to Gigantic Splite with 3200 attack points, which is very nice. Uh, the Utopia package, uh, the Utopia Future package, it is possible to go into it, and that is the reason why I don't like the Gigantic Splite locking into the twos, but it is possible to go into it without the use of Gigantic Sprite, but we do need to get to the Hedgehog uh, early in the graveyards, and well, not one, but two, maybe even all three of them. Now, we're also playing Sprite Elf, which is very good for one reason. Because Carrot and Red tribute uh, level 2 rank 2 or link to monsters, if you tribute one something like Jet or Blue for the negation for Carrot and Red, you can just summon back that monster with Elf, giving you not only a negation, but also a Surge, which uh, I really like and I found very good in this deck. So now that will be everything I have, it was a very long segment, so let's go to the deck's stats now.